Hi there and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, so I was just about to go have lunch and then I realized <laughs> I just had a thought. So, and I had to share it straight away before I forget. Now, as we were talking in the previous video, we were saying that, you know, you can drop the people that make you feel bad. Okay, just make create space. Stop seeing them, stop talking to them, or stop taking their calls, like their phone calls, right? Especially if it's like, my parents are overseas, and they've been overseas for a long time, so it's really about taking the phone call, right, for me. Um, for a while, I, for a few years, I was like, I couldn't talk to them at all. I was so angry with them that I thought I just, I couldn't pick up the phone, you know? Um, I just couldn't talk to them. But, you know, after all we've been through, after all these videos, when you think about it, these people are in your life, all right? Everything is in your life. It is meant to be there. All the people in it, all the things in it, everything that's in your life is meant to be there. Now, if it is someone that's making you feel bad, really, only you can make yourself feel bad, right? But if it's someone making you feel bad by whatever it is that they're saying or, you know, putting you down, whatever it is, really, it's a gift to you. They're making you look at you. Why are you feeling bad when they say that? What does it matter? Right? What does it matter what they say? So whoever it is, whether it's a parent or whatever, you know, nobody knows you inside you like you do, you know? And for some of us, our parents can't even relate to us because they can't even with who we are, <laughs> you know? They just can't even relate to who we are you know as beings as the beings that we are so um there's a disconnect right there right but in the sense that we feel completely like disconnected from you know these parents sometimes like from different worlds so different planets if you like like aliens dropped us off here and said to these parents okay you take care of this one <laughs> you know and they've got no clue what they're doing right but Everything is in your life. It's showing you what you're thinking and what you're feeling in this moment, right? So if this person is making you feel bad, it's because you're believing something about yourself, which, by the way, is not true. If it's making you feel bad, <laughs> it's not true. So usually it's not the truth, and that's why we feel bad, because we stepped into believing something that's a lie about who we are, right? About who we are. So it's always, for me, I, you know, now I can't help but look at all the people in my life and everything around me and I look at it as it's serving me, right? Because what I see when I look at everything around me now is that the universal life force energy, God, life, spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, is in everything. And everything around you is communicating with you. It's communicating with you. So everything, not just these people that make you feel bad, but everything, every situation, everything that goes on in your day, it's just the universe communicating with you. And it is telling you what you are thinking, what you are believing about who you are in every moment now if what's going on around you is making you feel bad that means you're way off track from the truth of who you are way off track because knowing the truth of who you are can only fill you with love and joy and bliss and wonder you know all these wonderful feelings of you know that life is a joy, you know, that life is a gift. You're filled with so much gratitude when you realize who you really are, you know, what it's really about. 
and that everything around you is communicating to you. You know, my, <laughs> my daughter laughs because I open up the car. Every time I open up the, the flap to put the petrol in, in the car, <laughs> the other day I went in and I'm talking to the flap of the car and she's like, mum, who are you talking to out there? Because she was sitting in the car and I'm like, the little spider that lives in the flap. And she goes, what? And she came out of the car <laughs> and she saw the little spider because what happens is every time I open up the flap, he comes rushing out from where the, 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 the knob is that I have to turn to put the petrol in. He comes rushing out and he hides in this little gap. And, uh, and I said, I'm just saying hello to the spider that lives in the, you know, in the, the little petrol thing. <laughs> And she goes, oh, mom, you know. <laughs> but, you know, everything is communicating with you. It's just a question of you being aware that life is talking to you all the time. It's saying hello to you all the time. Everywhere you look, there is life. Everywhere. It's everywhere. You know, there is an abundance of it because it's infinite and limitless, just like us. So... Yeah, have a real look around at what is showing up for you. And rather than, you know, it's a, it's a different level though. You know, once you understand that this beautiful God energy is in everything, uh, you can no longer look at people like they're good or bad or anything, but they're just, they're just energy. They're just life energy. Just like you are life energy. There's, there is no, you don't, you can't even see that there's different color skin, there's different color anything, there's, there's nothing, they're just energy, just like you. You look at a dog and you see there's life energy. You look at a cat, oh my God, there's God there. And the birds and the flowers, oh my God, there's God there. This universal life force energy is in everything and it's talking to me. If I'm noticing it, it has a message for me. And if I'm looking at a beautiful flower and I'm thinking, oh, how beautiful it is, how happy it makes me, it is reminding me that that beauty is inside of me too. I am that. I am beautiful too. Because I'm seeing the beauty in it. It's inside of me. You see? The things that we admire outside of us, they're already in us, or we wouldn't see them. So... Today, I'd like you to kind of look at it that way instead of, oh, you have to start eliminating people from your life. <laughs> but never be afraid to, you know, make space or see people less that don't make you feel good or talk to them less. Because other people will come. They always will. The universe always provides. Unless you're in the space that you don't want anyone, you want to be alone. And then the universe will provide. It will leave you alone because that's what you wish. So it is here to grant your wishes, whatever it is that you wish. You want to be alone? Fine, we can leave you alone. You want these people out of your life, but you want people that make you feel good? We can do that. We can send you people that make you feel good. We can definitely do that. You know, if it's people at work, and you're in this work environment, you know, the same applies. You know, if there's people that rub you the wrong way, they trigger you, you don't have to spend as much time with them. Walk away. <laughs> you know, find others that do make you feel good and that you can spend more time with. Or maybe understand that those people that make you feel bad, you know, they're hurting inside. And that's why they hurt others. That's why they make others feel bad because there's pain inside and they're lashing out. There's so many different ways that you can look at it without you taking on that you have to feel bad. There's so many ways that you can look at life where it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know, we're all connected and it's all great, but what's going on with you has nothing to do with me. You can live your life that no matter what's going on around you, you're at peace. You can be in a stadium full of people cheering on their favorite football squads and it's so noisy in there, but you can still be at peace. You don't have to be on top of a mountain to feel peace. You already are peace. That's who you are. 
You just have to choose it. In choosing it, you say, oh, I don't need that. I don't need to put my mind there. Because it's the mind that creates all the chaos, all the pain, all the suffering. The mind. What we focus on. So take your focus away from that. It's that simple. Focus on what makes you feel good. Focus on the things you love. All right, my darlings. And the people around you. The things that are happening around you. They're serving you. They're there for you. So start to notice. What do you say that's showing up in my life? What is it trying to tell me? Have I strayed that far away from love that I need to stop and go back inside and look for that love? You are the love, by the way, but it's remembering that you are this love. Remember. You are the love. Remember. Right, my darling. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the, the messages. And I was just about to say one more time. Remember. <laughs> you are the love. It hurts because you've forgotten. Or you're in pain because you've forgotten. Or you're in fear because you've forgotten and all of those things are trying to tell you that you've forgotten you are the love remember bye for now